So this here is the Tronxy XY100 3D printer. It's available through Gearbest and it costs only 220 Australian dollars or 164 US. It's incredibly cheap, but it works quite well. In this video, we're gonna review it. Now, if you are interested in this printer, there is links in the description below as to where you can get one. Now, this review is gonna be broken down into four sections. The assembly, build quality, ease of use, and also the print quality. Now, I am in no means a expert in 3D printers, but when I did show this in a video, there was quite a bit of interest, so I thought I'll give you guys my thoughts on the machine. All right, first things first, the assembly. This machine does leave a lot to be desired with the instructions, but it isn't impossible to get this thing together. First thing you'll notice is there's no paper booklet of instructions, but instead there's a small USB drive which has a PDF. I actually didn't know about that PDF until after I had this, had this assembled, and what I relied on was just a 3D animation on the Gearbest website. Now I got this thing together relatively painless, I only had to redo one or two things. These stepper motor mounts I actually put on upside down on one motor, which put this rod here on the wrong side, so that could have been better documented. And also attaching this bed here, this left a lot to be desired because not all the holes in the uh, guide bearings actually line up to holes. Now one thing that did help out in a big way is that the hot end here, uh, the filament extruder and these uh, guides on the sides, these all came pre-assembled. So the things which are really fiddly, you don't have to worry about, which is good. All right, that brings us on to build quality. And to me, it's not great. I mean, the entire thing is made out of acrylic and a few steel components. So it can't be that bad, but there is a few things I don't like. These components here, which guide the height of the uh, gantry here, these I actually had to loosen off a few of the screws just to get the threaded rods moving nicely. I think that comes down to warpage. So essentially I've had to leave one of these screws loose because if I do tighten it up, the entire thing binds. Not great, but you know, it still works. And that could just be my particular unit. These are 3D printed, so it does leave a lot of variables. The filament feeder is very badly thought out in my opinion. Every time that I have to change the filament, I actually have to take off this tube, off this uh, brass components here, feed it through the filament feeder. The reason I have to do that is the filament will never line up in the hole. So whether it's an alignment issue or a design fault, I'm not too sure, but it is really annoying because I just can't push it through whenever I want to change the filament. All right, that brings us on to ease of use. Operating the machine from the preloaded files on the SD card that comes with it was easy as anything. You just load the file and click print and the print came out flawlessly. But as soon as I wanted to start printing my own files, it became a bit more difficult. Now, this isn't the machine's thing. This is a personal thing. I am shocking when it comes to troubleshooting computer things and everything came down to my settings. So what I would say, the machine itself is easy to use, but if it's your first time 3D printing, be prepared to have a lot of frustration while you learn how to use it. One thing I've not been able to achieve on this machine is I've not been able to get it to sync to my computer using the USB cable, but personally for me, it is not an issue because I use the SD card, which is built in to the logic board. So it's not been an issue for me because I prefer putting it on an SD card and then loading it onto the machine. But if that is important, well, I've not been able to achieve it, but I'm sure it is something simple. Now, some things that it's lacking, it's obviously not got a heated bed. I don't know how important that is, to be honest. I don't really know the first thing about 3D printing still, but it hasn't got one. And it's also not self-leveling. So every time you use it, you do need to level the bed. For me, I'm not gonna use it all that often, so it's not that much of an issue. So this here is the first component that I printed, and its quality is pretty decent. The layers are well-defined and not too high. The overall piece is nice and hard and it doesn't flex around at all. And if you look at a second piece, you can see the internal structure is pretty nice too. Now, this is my first time ever working with a 3D printer, so it's hard for me to say if it's actually good quality, 
but to me in an unexperienced light it seems really good so the components are nice and firm nice and rigid and the layers stick together really well so as far as i can tell print quality is up there so the way i have this printer set up is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and the layer height i'm using is 0.2 millimeters high now the last thing is would i recommend this printer I think I would recommend it if you're wanting to just get into it and not wanting to spend the money on a good machine just yet because the thing is it works and it does a fairly decent print once you figure out how to actually tune the machine in. At the price, well currently in Australia this is 221 Australian dollars or if you're an American viewer it's 164 US dollars so it's really cheap for what you're getting. Now that doesn't actually include the filament so you'd want to add a roll of filament onto that but still that only adds about $30 onto the price of your printer. So still for the price, it's really nice. This printer here is the Tronxy XY100, which is a copy of the Amnet A8. They're both pretty much identical machines. I have left links to this printer and the Amnet A8 in the description below. They're both comparatively priced. They're both very similar. So really it's a personal choice. I am happy with the Tron XY but I think if they had a sent the Amnet A8, I would have had a much easier time getting this thing working just because there's a lot more support out there when you're Googling how to actually get the thing to print nicely. Full disclosure, Gearbest did send this printer to me free of charge, but it wasn't in exchange for a positive review or anything like that. It was just for me to use it and let you guys know what I think of it. And that's exactly what I've done. Now, if you are interested in this printer or any of the other 3D printers that Gearbest does sell, Gearbest has been kind enough to give me an affiliate link. So anything that you guys purchase actually sends a few dollars to me. So I've left links in the description below. So if you're interested in this printer or any of the other Gearbest equipment, use the links that I have down below and that will help me out with a few dollars with every purchase. If you are interested in seeing this printer actually printing this file here, check out the video that's linked in the description. And there will also be another video coming up in a few days where I take you through the entire process of getting it from your computer to the printer and actually printing a file. All right guys, like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.